Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. So I'm doing an extreme contouring video today for you girls, our guys. This is a very matte, dark brown eyeshadow by Revlon. You can use something like this. You can get an actual contouring uh, pen, uh, blush. That's what it would be. This is by e.l.f. I think it's $3 at Target. It has the blush and the contouring shadow. Um, so let's get started. I personally like the very dark and I'm going to do very dark so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about when I say contouring and then I'll fade the line in. Uh, I usually don't do this dark and the contouring videos I've done for you in the past, you couldn't see it as much because I put on just enough where it looks natural, but I'm going to put on a lot more so you guys can see it. Okay. So like, okay. If you look at my side, it's one, right? And so it, it looks like I have this huge cheek here right and I want the illusion that I'm more slim so what you will do is you'll pat this into the dark shadow and you will draw a line right here now you obviously can see that that's exactly where it's going to be Now, I'm not going to be walking around looking like that. Okay, next, where you would take this, but you can see when I, sh when I fade it out, it will be um, very natural looking. Okay, so I want the illusion that I am slender here um, and slender here. So what you do is you pat this on right here. Now, believe it or not, uh, this is how they do. I've done makeup for shoots before, movie shoots, and this is how they do a very bruised look, but they'll leave it on somebody like this. You know, they'll like pat the dark here or the red here, and they'll leave it on there. But we're not doing that. We're doing a slim look, okay? I don't even know why I told you that's how you do movie makeup. Um, you just, okay, so, and then you see I have a big right here and a big right here, right there. We're just going to go a little bit more in here. And what is this doing? Just a little bit there. It's making your face more a little bit more small and a little bit more slim. Okay, so let's do our turkey, turkey gobbler. Okay, see this? Let's shadow that so I look nice and skinny. I'm going to totally look like I have a beard. <laughs> I did my son's uh, makeup for his play. You guys see that? And I did this. I shadowed all of his... Um, his face and I made it look like a beard okay so look when I go back yes it's so dark right now but what do you notice you notice my chin more than my turkey okay let's go to the side here I'm going right under uh, so now look at that you notice this portion not this which what does it do it gives you more of a defined jaw. Okay, next. I'm actually going to take a very slender brush for this one. I've done this plenty of times in my videos. Um, you guys just don't know that I've done it. Okay, so I'm going to do my nose. Let's make my nose look skinny because I do have a full nose. Okay, first pat off any sweat going to take it from here and I'm going to make a line straight down. I'm going to take it from here, the corner. I'm going to make a line and I'm going to go straight down. And then I'm going to go up a little bit more depending on the more you go up, the more slender your nose will look. 
You guys see that? And this is what you're going to notice more than anything. Okay, so let's fade. I got a very clean brush. And I'm going to fade. See, I look totally funny. So we're going to fade. And we're just going to run over those lines. Uh, so. You can use your finger. Going to come down to this portion of the neck. And I'm fading downward. Fading downward. My hands are clean. Coming to our turkey gobbler. And fading that all out. Coming to this side and fading. When I'm fading, I'm just really holding the brush together to be very tight. And I'm just wiggling in motions to try to break up that color to blend in with my foundation. Okay. I know you guys are real curious to the nose. So am I because I've never put it on this dark on my nose. And then let's go to the nose. be better to have like a smaller cleaner brush for the nose because it's hard to get that corner and then blending okay the nose is giving me some difficulties because of the brush the brush is so big so I'm going to take this brush that I used to apply the um, brown going to wipe all of the brown off on my hand and then I'm going to fade it with that brush. This is a great way for you girls to um, avoid a nose job. If you have a very large nose, you can instantly slim it with makeup. I keep just wiping off the extra. Whew, and it doesn't help that I'm sweating a little bit. Let's see. There you go. Of course, I think I'm still going to fade in my nose a little bit more because I think it's a little too brown. There we go. There we go. We're blending now. Okay, so let me scoot back so you guys can see me. You see? Do you notice my turkey gobbler? No. Are you looking at the middle of my nose? Yes. Do my cheeks look like they come in? Do I look a little bit more slim in here? Yes. Show you guys what it looks like when the light hits on it. And that is how you do contouring. Okay, now I did an extreme version for you guys so you really could see the lines. But obviously, that's where you would put the makeup. You wouldn't put it as dark as I did. You'd put it a little bit lighter, you know, much lighter than I did, and then fade it out. But, so, I am Christina Marie. I hope you guys enjoyed my contouring video. Post a, a comment on my Facebook or YouTube. You guys know the accounts are connected. Send me a friend's request. Uh, it will be down below linked. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.